uh, very foggy and very smoky and very cold day out here, but we're gonna catch some salmon. Uh, so today we're gonna be using downriggers. This thing helps you get your stuff to where you need to be. So just for gear, I got a flasher. Red is a good color. And then I just got this little spoon thing on. We're also gonna be fishing a hoochie. See what's working, and then whatever's working is what we're gonna use. So, yeah, let's get to fishing. Okay, so on, on my little spoon, I'm just gonna put on a little bit of herring oil. There we go. Okay guys, so I'm gonna let out some line here. Not too much, just a little bit. Just make sure you got all of your gear out straight, no tangles. Okay, that looks pretty good. I can see my lure spinning. It looks pretty sweet. Looks like it's in its happy place. And then I'm gonna grab my clip. Okay guys, so we're just sending it down. There we go. So I'm just gonna um you grab right there? Yep, put it in the clip and then just tighten it down. So like there. There we go guys. Okay guys, so we got a little shaker here. Oh a little guy. It's a little guy. Um this is a Chinook. You're not allowed to keep Chinooks here this small, so we're going to release this little dude. Okay, little guy, let's see if he makes it. Yep, okay guys, swam off. Good. Awesome. Got some weeds on my thing, but that's just great guys. A little shaker. A lot of fish in this spot. Okay guys, resetting the downrigger after our little shaker. Oh, I've seen that that's, really easy on Craigslist. That's also another uh, thing that you gotta watch for. Because if you're dragging a shaker for a long... This thing's got a lot of slack in it. If you're dragging a shaker, you'll kill it and it won't survive. So check your downriggers every once in a while. So you're not dragging any weeds or shakers. And last one I had both, so not good. Okay guys, got one pole there, another pole there, one fish we've caught, so uh, it was not very big, but it's, uh, we can say we caught something guys, so I don't know if that's all we'll catch, but uh, got a video guys, got a video, be awesome. Hey guys, so for the little hoochie that we're rigging up for Calvin, I cured these uh, little herring fillets with salt, and they turn into like leather, and you put it on the hook, like this. This is the little hoochie we're using. It's like a little glow in the dark one. Now I'm not going to put it on the stinger. I'm just going to put it on the hook here. And it just stays on the hook forever. And it gives it a really good scent. So that's our other coho rig. Irritating. Guys, if you are gonna get release clips, don't get Scotty, get Cannon. That's ridiculous. God. Okay guys, we're having a blast out here. Haven't caught anything since that little shaker Chinook. We can't even knock it up! Since that little shaker Chinook we got earlier. But uh, fishing the downriggers. Um, 
so yeah, it's interesting. Uh, we're just kind of fishing where all the boats are. No one's really catching anything, like anything substantial. So yeah, see what happens. Let's go. Yeah. Okay guys, Calvin's got a little thingy on. I think it just popped for some reason, unless you got a little shaker on. That was exciting. No, it's weeds, dude. You got weeds. That's weird that you got weeds, but I didn't get weeds. Cause I'm, I'm deeper than you. Yeah, yeah man, well. that's weird. Well, that means I got weeds, so I'm gonna fix that, guys. Okay, guys, well, this was just on the downrigger ball. Not good. Um, on my downrigger ball. That was on Calvin. Look at how many like, weeds are in the boat from just on the downrigger balls. Let's chuck that way out there. That wasn't even way out there, but we got it out of here. That was weird. That was funny. Yeah, geez. Okay, so I think we are uh, we got all the gear up. There's weeds on that one, too. We got all the gear up. Um, I think we're going to maybe head to another spot. Not quite sure, but uh, yeah, let's go. back on we saw a bunch of stuff so let's go okay so this little spoon i'm using here this is just a little uh gibbs delta skinny g in a red racer color good color i like that and then for scent i'm just using this pro cure i think smelly jelly is better but that uh this stuff works well so let's put it on Okay, guys, got that pro cure on. What the heck? Am I tangled at the top? I am. There we go, guys. Now we got it. Nope. Okay. Like 800th times a charm, guys. There we go. How fast are we going, Pops? Spe 1.7. Speed it up a little. Um, please, pretty please. For Coho, typically, I like about 2.7 to 3.1 in there. Okay, that's good. And then, that's the problem with small boats and these long salmon rods, guys. There's no room to work. Okay, I'm just gonna clip it in right there with my little clip. Boom. Okay, here we are, guys. I think we're gonna take this one down to 60. 60, 60, 60, 60, 60, 55, 60. There we go. There we go, guys. Looking sharp, looking sharp. Okay, guys, Calvin just got a, uh, a bite. The rod was like, but still in the clip, it was like, da, 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 and then popped free. Uh, but it uh, let go, I think. Barbell sucks, guys. They suck. But you gotta use them here in Puget Sound. We're, we're your fish and you don't have to use them. Lucky you. Here in Puget Sound, you gotta use them though. So, yeah, 60 feet is where it happened. I think that's a really good depth. It's like past nine. Um, we're just out here, uh, Edmonds. Edmonds is a good spot, guys. Michael Teo, Edmonds down here. A lot of coho running up. They're gonna go spawn in the Duwamish, the Stiliguamish. They're gonna spawn in the Skagit River. They're gonna go into the uh, Snoqualmie, Skycomish, and Snohomish. So right now they're just making their way up and uh, there's a lot of good fish in here. So see what we can catch. Let's okay. go. So, update. My uh, stupid clip came undone. If you guys are gonna get downriggers, I would highly suggest the Scotty downriggers over like a Canon downrigger. Um, but I would much rather have the Canon, well, gosh, dang it, the Canon accessories than um, the, the Scotty accessories are better than the Canon accessories. This downrigger here um, is the Scotty 1060. Um, it's nice because it's got these extendable handles so you can uh, reel up twice as fast and go down twice as fast. Calvin over here has got the 1050 MP. That's good, but you only get uh, one foot per turn. This gets two feet when it's extended. So, let's turn it back down. Woo! Hey guys, we've been trolling for a long time, and we got 
nothing. Uh, yeah, not much going on. There's still a crap ton of boats here, but I bet you guys can't see it because the fog is insane, guys. I don't know what's going on. It must be a mixture of, like the smoke and the fog because it's uh, you can't see anything, guys. Even like the rod tip for me is like still like not easy to see. But uh, I think we're gonna start making our way back. It's gonna be bad to like maybe an hour boat ride back. That's probably the little boat. It goes so slow, man. Can't go anywhere. Okay, guys, so we were just driving around and then we saw this shipwreck, baby. That is like the coolest boat in the world, guys. It's like old and rotten and made of wood. That's so cool, guys. We're just making our way back to the. Uh, to the boat launch. So cool, guys. Wow. It's so old, there's other trees growing on it. Yeah, it's so old, there's trees growing on it. That's so weird, guys. That's cool. Okay, guys. So there's a ginormously fat seal on this buoy. That's pretty cool, guys. I think that's an appropriate way to end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video about Door Shack. Really appreciate it. So yeah, I think I'm gonna do more of these tutorials, like show you guys really the in-depth gear. And if we can catch a fish while doing that, then that's just bonus. It smells. Dude, that stinks. We're right by the naval ship. And it stinks. I don't know why that is. Um, but it's been a great day out here. If you guys really enjoyed the video, make sure you guys go down and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss our weekly uploads. And also just smash that like button. Don't like break the screen, just a little bump, just a little one. Yeah, drop a comment if you really enjoyed it. 